Good morning, and thank you for joining me for morning prayer on Monday, April 27th, 2020. In our third week of Easter rejoicing, we'll hear stories of the earliest Christians. They were called followers of the way, and the way was Jesus. They were baptized and they participated in the breaking of the bread, what we call Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. But Peter raised his voice and addressed them. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs. This man, this Jesus God raised up, and of that all, of us are witnesses. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. The Word of the Lord. Today's silent reflection. Think about this silently in your heart. Pray for the Holy Spirit to come to you. Um, in my reflection of the Holy Spirit today, it was probably about five years ago, so I've made it through most of my life, before I really gave much thought to the fact that so much of my prayer time was devoted to only two persons of the Holy Trinity. Obviously, I prayed to God the Father, and so much of what we talk about in sixth grade in our religion class <clears throat> is developing a great relationship with Jesus. We talk so much about our friendship with Jesus and how we can make that to be better and better all the time. So really my focus in most of my life has always been on those two persons of the Trinity. And I can't remember why it was, but all of a sudden I just realized, wow, I, I know of the Holy Spirit and I know some prayers to the Holy Spirit but I just never, this is really sounds horrible when I'm going to say it out loud, but I just really never thought much about the Holy Spirit. I mean, I would hear it in readings like today's and with confirmation and all of that, but I just never had much focus on it. And it was at the moment that I realized that, that I changed my prayer life and I made sure to add in prayers to the Holy Spirit. And I know in, in class, sixth graders, we've talked so much about, you know, listening to that voice that we get, listening for God's voice. And I, I just so believe that when I feel moved to do a certain thing or somebody's name pops into my head, I think I should get a hold of this person, I should call them, or I read a book and I somebody's random maybe somebody I haven't thought of in a really long time, their name just randomly pops up into my head and I'm like, wow, I should give that person this book. Now, I think those thoughts had popped into my mind my whole life. We've talked about this in class. You've said you have the same thing. But when I really started praying to the Holy Spirit, I just have always now thought that it's the Holy Spirit letting me know those things and guiding me in the things that I should do. And the more that I have recognized it as such, the more I feel the power of the Holy Spirit in my life. Oh, this is one of those times that can make me a little bit weepy. But, and I've talked to my students about this in the past. This is going to make me like really tear up. But I've shared this with students in the past, and not only this year, you guys, but in my own life, I've really gotten to the point to where if I feel moved to do something for somebody, like I said, like somebody's name randomly pops up into my head about something, I really try to follow through with whatever that thought was. If I feel moved to send somebody a card or if I feel moved to just send somebody a text, hey, I'm thinking of you or, or just something, I will say virtually every time I do that, 
I get feedback from that person that that was just exactly what I needed at that moment. And I really feel that that Holy Spirit is the way that we can connect with each other in such a powerful way. And I will say from my own experience, and I, I just know this to be so true, in some of my times when I'm really down, when I'm questioning things, when I'm feeling bad about things, it's somebody reaching out and saying something to me that can make all the difference in the world. And I have a number of very specific examples of this. And if we were in class, I'd probably go on and on about those today. And our prayer time would get really long. And I think that's totally fine. But for sake of a video, I'll try you know, to just focus on a few. But I've told my students, you know, don't ignore those little um, inklings that you have or those little thoughts that you have. And I can remember two specific times where I was just really having a rough stretch in my life. And I just didn't know if what I was doing was what I should be doing. And I didn't know if what I was doing was making a difference. And, you know, just really questioning. And I think, you know, we have to be careful sometimes when we get that questioning and doubt going on. And it's hard to not get kind of stuck in that spot. And I can literally, as I'm talking about this, remember a very specific time where I just didn't know if teaching where I was at St. John's was what I was supposed to be doing at that time. And I can remember sitting at my podium and just really fighting in one particular day, just those feelings of a little bit of despair and just feeling a little bit down and that was the day that my students brought to me out of the blue. Oh, sorry. It's just so powerful. But my class had put together, made a cross and a poster and everybody had written on it. And now that I need that feedback from somebody else, but I tell you what, in that moment, those kids listened to a little whisper in their ears and followed through. And that was exactly what I needed in that moment. And I just really believe that it's the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> it's just so powerful. And I think the reason why... <laughs> Okay, try to explain this. The reason why I think I get so emotional when I talk about these things is there's just the power of God, the power of the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The power in our lives is just awe-inspiring. It just moves me to tears. And I just pray that you allow that to work in your own lives. That will be my intention today for my prayers. Sorry, my voice gets so... Oh, boy. Okay, calm down. That will be my prayer intention for you, that you will find a deep connection. Oh, need some Kleenex here, too. I know you'd have my back if you were here. So I want to pause now and give you a moment to think of your prayer intentions. Let us pray to God for our needs, the needs of our neighbors, our family, and the world. And for all of these needs, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We thank you, loving God, for the gift of baptism. In baptism, you call us to our Christian dignity. You call us to be your sons and daughters. We pray that we may be faithful to this call. We ask this in the name of our risen Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, there would have been a day where I would have never put this out as a video because I would have been 
too self-conscious of myself crying and having my cry voice as I'm talking. And I would have redone it and, and kind of beat myself up about, oh, why do you cry so much? And why are you so emotional? But I am happy to say that I have embraced that this is who I am. This is who God made me to be. And I will share it with the world because God is amazing. And there's a reason for everything that he has done. And there is a reason for everything in our personalities. And so I hope you embrace that today as well and pray for guidance from the Holy Spirit. Have a great day.